YouTube, welcome back to my channel. We are headed out for a hog hunt. This is my first hog hunt ever. Nick and I are going with our friends, Brian and Kaylin, and we will be hunting on private land. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I'm excited, but nervous as well. Out. Yeah. Look at that. That's a perfect size. Oh. Yeah. I can't believe this like hide. This is so crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Woohoo! Thank you. Sweet. Good stuff. So here you have it. This is one back strap from the hog. She had a lot of fat on her, as you can see. All of that fat. So I'll cut all this fat off and then it'll be ready for some eating. That's all the fat. And there was so much more. Voila, there she is all pretty and cleaned up. Look who's hiding in the corner. Why are you hiding? He's okay. Huh. After we cook this tomorrow, I'll give you my final thoughts on everything, so we'll see how I feel after we eat it. I will let you know. I will see you now. my final thoughts on what I thought about the hunt, what I thought about the meat, and if I would do this again. So, start with the hunt. I was nervous going into it. I knew what it was gonna be like just from watching videos online. There were some nerves around the fact that it might get a little bit Western, just sort of the nature of hog hunting is a lot different than hunting for deer or elk or antelope, etc. Because hogs are invasive and they destroy a landscape, which you guys saw some of that. I tried to capture that and sort of educate on the way that hogs behave in nature. So that is unique and I've never hunted a species quite like that before. So there were some nerves about that. Also, hunting over a feeder is new to me and I was a little nervous about what that would feel like because it just changes the dynamic or the, maybe I'm getting a little hippy dippy right now, but it changes like the energy between you and the animal and how things go down. So that caused some anxiety to sort of build up prior to. As far as the hunt actually went, it was fun. 
We went with our friends, so I think that's something that's important if you have never done this before but you're interested in it. Just make sure that you're with people that you trust or you're with an outfitter that you trust or you know just that there's good communication beforehand on like what you know what you want the experience to be like because it can get as wild or not as you want. We definitely would have done things differently though in terms of how we actually executed the strategy and hunting portion of the hunt, we could have been more successful had we planned things out a little bit better. Let's talk about butchering. I was an idiot and did not come prepared with gloves or anything to protect myself, which is extremely important when you are butchering a hog, a wild hog. It's really very important when you're butchering any animal because there are diseases that these animals have that can be transmitted to you. And if you're not taking the proper precautions, you're gonna get yourself sick. So I should have been wearing gloves while processing, even while handling the meat before I cooked it, but I learned. So I know now for the future, I won't do that again. I won't make that mistake again. Thankfully, we didn't get sick. You also need to make sure that you cook your meat to the proper temperature. So that I did do. Now the taste of the meat, it was wonderful. It was just like pork, exactly like you would imagine, except it was very dry. And that is to be expected of any type of wild game meat. So it didn't come as a surprise. So this probably won't be the last hog video from me that you see. I'm looking forward to hunting hogs again.